In this video, let's see how we can connect our local host to XApp Builder. And you can find all the help articles in the help menu, not a surprise. Let's start with step one. Let's create a simple HTML page for demonstration purpose. I'll open my Visual Studio code editor and I already have a folder with some logo and a cat picture. Let me check. Yeah, so let me drag it here and open it inside Visual Studio Code Editor and quickly create index.html. I will use this VS Code's shortcut to get the HTML skeleton and obviously type hello world and save it. Now go to extensions section of VS Code and type live server and install it. I have already done it. The only thing you need to know is where the go live button is. By the way, you can use any code editor you want and you can host your files on any server as long as you know how it works. So here is the go live button. Click on it to start the server and note down the port number. It also automatically opens up the browser for you showing the content of index.html file which is also helpful. So this completes step one. Now step two is to expose your website or web services to the world using a service called local tunnel. You can even use ngrok but for this tutorial I chose to use local tunnel. So I'll put link to local tunnel in the description section of this video. Let's install local tunnel globally using npm. Paste it here. And then run this command lt, which stands for local tunnel, double hyphen, port, followed by the port number. Our port number is double five double zero. Uh, make sure it exactly matches with your port number. Enter. This outputs a unique URL. Copy it. And this completes step two. Let's move on to step three. Go to some.app. Click on developers link. Then sign up for developer console account if you have not already. I already have an account. I'll choose an existing one and navigate to XApp section. Here in the web app URL section, paste your local tunnel URL, this one. Paste it here and do not forget to save it. Now these two sections are very important. Debug device ID, you have to fetch it from some. So go to settings, advanced, device ID and double tap it and copy it and paste it here. And the guest device IDs are device IDs of others who want to access your XApp on some or on XApp Builder while your XApp is still sandboxed, which means nobody else other than these devices can access it while your XApp is still sandboxed. Okay, input your device ID and let's move on to the last step, step four, that is accessing your XApp on XApp Builder. Let me clear the screen. So open some and scan the QR code displayed on the XApp Builder. And usually within three seconds, all your XApps should get listed in the left sidebar. And here you go. Let's click on the XApp we configured just now and we have the hello world output. Let's bring back our code editor. You can also see your local tunnel URL in the console log. Yeah, we have a logo inside our project folder. Let's use it. Let's display image in a new line and HTML image tag, logo.png and save it. But looks like it's not working. Let's fix it. Copy the local tunnel URL, open it in your browser, 
it will ask for your IP address. Google what's my IP and it will display your IP address. Copy it and paste it here in the local tunnel URL and submit it. That's it. Now get back to XApp Builder and hit the refresh button. And it's working. Now you can modify your project and whenever you save it, it reflects on XApp Builder. Yep. So that's how you connect your local host to XApp Builder in four easy steps. Hope that helps. Looking forward to seeing some innovative XApps.